you feel like there's gonna be something similar within the car market here pretty soon? I think a lot of the car guys, they don't want to leave the burden on their families mm-hmm. with their collections. And, and there's guys that have collections that would you'd fall over. Mm-hmm. But then there's guys that have their first car or their first street rod they've had for 40 years. And they've, they've bounced off their families. You know, do you want, do you want this car or not? And a lot of the kids have oh, no I'm interest sure. in these cars. You know, you're either wired for it, wired for the cars or you're not. And you're going to see these cars start coming up for sale. I, I've witnessed it. I've been noted. I've been called like, by guys. So, like, are we talking for like what they're marketly worth? Well, I guess the yeah. the the consumer sets the market. But like, yeah, um, is it what it should be market wise, or are they kind of underselling because they know like what's kind of coming? I guess. No, I don't think they have any reason to undersell them. I think the the market, they know the availability value. of them. And they know their value. Right. It's worth what they want. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's worth what the family agrees to give. Uh, as far as going in heavy on a car, you can always buy them cheaper and you can build them. But if you buy a car with history or it comes from a collector that's got, you know, a little Some bit problems. of history behind yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the buyers will step up. And, and them cars ain't lost. 